Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So, we got a lot of stuff planned today. I wanted to get this uh, sea vault built. They're currently digging out a section so we can start putting in the, um, the actual material for the walls and stuff like that. But they got the door built and, um, figure that will take a little bit of time. And I've also started mining out this a little bit more too. I'm not sure how much dirt we have or even if we're going to be able to fill this all in. Um, I might just need to have to flood the area, honestly, when the time does come. Um, been thinking about it and it's pretty deep. Like, this is where the uh, sea level would be normally right here, right? So, like, if we were to go down the extra amount, that's going to be nuts for the... Uh, the height there so i'm not sure if um we're gonna be able to get all that done <laughs> not with the amount of soil that we have um let's see here how much soil do we have 200 okay we might be able to fill it in 200 how much does the dirt thing cost five oh yeah we should probably be able to do that I mean, this is all soil, so we should be good. I think we mined out a lot of it from making the river itself, so that's probably where we got a lot of it from. There's just a tree growing here. Let's chop that down. Not sure why. Well, I guess because it's grass, yeah. Alright, um, yeah, so I've been just getting a little bit more clay, trying to get that all sorted out, and then we can... Start making some more bricks, and I think they're working on that already. Yeah, because we're running low on clay, right? This is our overflow stockpile, and there's nothing there. It's just basically what we have here. So uh, we need we need more clay in order to make more bricks, and that's really important. So I'm just going to make sure that they take that to storage. And we'll have to get down there to get the rest of it. That will take a little bit of time, but it should be good. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, you're going to chop down the tree. All right. And how's this coming? It's coming. We've still got a little bit of time before we have to uh, clean this up, so gonna get them to move some bricks in here and then we can start working on that I guess and we can start doing the same thing that we did with the other seed vault
All right, so we got a battle going on right now. We need to set up our barriers, get our things in line. So who about builds? Let's see here. We'll get him over here. Um, he's not doing too much at the moment anyways. So we'll conscript him. Now, as far as I can tell, uh, there isn't anyone that is particularly for bowsmen, so we should have a pretty easy time taking these guys on. Uh, we will get uh, some of our people with the crossbows in. I want to test those out and see how those hold up. I'm not sure. What, what do we have? We have a crossbow crossbows we have at least three people with it um, yeah that should do oh yep we got them one two and where's the other one one two three yeah so that should do I think uh, for what we what we're going to be doing there's no bozeman so we don't need to worry about that now they're over on this side of the map, so we have time to get over to um, our location. We've actually been very lucky with um, not having the raider spawn right at our door, because that would be really bad. We should actually start uh, focusing on getting reinforced doors in for this gate too, um, and doing that wall plan like I wanted to do a while ago so but yeah so we'll get these guys in here and um we'll wait until we need to build this and then we'll have um our bozeman take out some of the other people now i should probably get one or two of these guys up over here maybe just one there's no like real threat so we don't really need to worry about the uh, area we'll get this guy over here though and then these two can spread out a little bit and let's get this guy over here no I don't think yeah I don't have a um Marlin on this side yet. I was going to do that, but I don't have it built because we haven't built that uh, section here. But we'll. Uh
Alright, so I've been thinking about the uh, seed vault a little bit over on this side. I wanted to blend it in with this structure here. So what I've been doing is I've been just basically um, getting the parts over here set up so we can basically continue working on that part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically remove the walls and we're going to slowly um, build in the... Um, structure so it looks more similar to the original which is next to it and that should make it look a little bit better I think than just having a building right next to it so that's the idea at least uh, we'll still need to um, get some stuff set up for the roofing and stuff like that but uh, I'm not sure how many sticks we have but I think we're running pretty low on sticks yeah, I'm not seeing any actually <laughs> I don't even know where we store our sticks. Thought they used to be over here, but could be wrong. Um, yeah, I have no idea where the sticks are. I'm going to just assume that we don't have a pile for them and I'm going to um, assign a pile over here. I'll just go and create a new default pile. And then we'll go ahead and select materials, raw materials, and we'll go with sticks. We'll set this to probably high. Not very high, but high. And then that will give us um, some stuff. Now, I also noticed that we have some overflow pile for uh, hay as well. So we could start working on our beds a little bit more. Now, do you think that there's some sticks or uh, stick piles located around the the place? I remember putting some around, so it's quite possible that we do have sticks. It's just not a whole bunch of them. So, and then there's some of these that aren't fully moved yet. But uh, the other thing that we could be stockpiling is somewhere over here. I don't know if that's where I've got them located. No, it, we're just really low on sticks. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, we really need to start chopping down trees more or something like that because it's just, we don't have enough of them, but I mean, at one point we had a whole entire pile full of them, but we started using them for um, fuel for the torches and that just drained it. So we have so many torches around this place now that we need to start moving over to um, wood or setting them up as wood so that they can just keep burning. <laughs> But uh, we'll work on that later. Um... All right, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got um, all of this. Uh, we got our first harvest for 
our, our last harvest for the carrots and beetroots that should bring us uh, to have enough food for winter we still need to harvest uh, these which are going to take a little bit of time to do but uh, we should be good for uh, winter for when those are actually ready for harvest and stuff uh, we got the seed vault done at least the second one so the second one is for uh, the other side of the farm where it's closer to the fields so this is where the second one is we have carrots um, there's berries when we actually have berries and there's also going to be um, barley in this one so barley doesn't really spoil berries do and so do seeds so it's important to keep it cool uh, we still need to build one over here uh, which we will probably do uh, not next episode but the episode after uh, we have the trees that we still have to chop down and stuff like that for winter. Uh, some of them might actually grow fine through it, but uh, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Just made sure that no one was replanting. And there was a merchant that came in. I got them to... Um, basically, it was the friendly faction that we're with, so I traded them all the weapons and stuff that we got from the battle um, and uh, some wine, some fine aged wine. So also hosted an event for them. So they were pretty happy with us. We got, we're at a hundred uh, rep with them again. So that's good. And uh, yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And uh, if you are new to my community, I do have a discord server. If you're interested in joining, the link is in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.